people of Earth features the first spore drive jump of season three. And it also features the reunion of the Discovery family with Michael Burnham. We learn about her years searching for answers about the burn, for her lost family on the Discovery, and for her new self. Adapting to this new future in which the Federation is seemingly gone has both freed her and changed her by shifting her mode of operation. You don't look so thrilled to be back in uniform yourself. I just forgot what it felt like. Mm, once you've grown used to living by your own rules, it's not so easy to follow other people's is it? In a way, this tendency has been with Michael since the Vulcan Hello, when she started the Klingon War. While she is key to this episode's moment to discover, Michael is but a conduit to that moment. When Saru reminds Michael that they must have a conversation regarding the captaincy, she freely and joyfully concedes that it was never for her, that it is for him. Commander Burnham. I believe we are due for a conversation, perhaps Oh, no, should... no, 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 there's no need. But... It's you, Saru. Uh, I don't know if it's ever been me. You brought this ship through time. You carried this crew on your shoulders. You are a captain in the truest sense of the word. It would be my honor. The moment is a culmination long overdue and an interesting inversion of where these two started their journeys in the Vulcan Hello. The humility and strength with which Saru accepts command and speaks to his crew satisfies our inherent desire to realize our potential and be recognized for it. This ship bears the name Discovery. She has carried us into the future. And it will be our privilege to make that future bright. To be honest, I got choked up, tears swelling in my eyes. Saru is one of Star Trek's most aspirational characters because he inspires without seeking the spotlight but follows his values wherever they lead. And this is borne out in his leadership during negotiations between Wen and Captain Nadoye. Diplomacy is no stranger to Star Trek fans, as it sat at the core of many Star Trek stories, but this one is somehow fresh and deeply satisfying, if a bit simplistic. But that's the point. Resolution sometimes can be as simple as talking to the other. The other who you have demonized or transformed into an immoral monster in your own mind. We live in times when this is too easily the immediate response to people of different religious beliefs of different political and personal identities. Too often, we twist people into poisons to the good, when truly there are fragments of common good in all. And this is the moment to discover, the moment when the good is realized into reality. Tell me about the spinning part. <laughs>